Addison's a very small town. We're 4.3 square miles. One mile of that is taken up by an airport. Our population's around 16,000, but any given day, we're well over 100,000 people in our district. For as long as I've been here, the town of Addison has been about shining in their own individual way and the special events being a big part of that. Even though we're actually landlocked, the town has grown a lot. Not only older sections of town, there's been a lot of commercial properties coming up. Our travel times are incredibly important. Obviously, we're dealing with traffic. We have major highways running through our city. We have large streets. So the traffic is always on our mind and trying to get to our location as quick as possible. Well, the existing preemption system we had for years worked on line of sight. And um, the town many years ago starting a beautification project. Over the years, those trees maturing, parks getting pretty and beautiful. Some of the roadways, the approaches to vital intersections became an issue. We would have a fire truck that would come up to the intersection and would be within 150 feet before it actually got triggered. With this system, what we noticed was that we could trigger intersections ahead of the queue. If we wanted to trigger an intersection 3,000 feet away, we could do that. In the old system, part of our time was taken up every month. We would have to go do checks on the equipment and go look at it, and the fire department did that on top of the streets looking at their end. So that took up time for us. Now we have the ability that uh, traffic department streets can look at the system and say everything's good, or they can call us to say, hey, we're seeing something. Okay, have you guys noticed that you're having a problem at this intersection? So we technically started with school flashers. Being such a small town, and having only two school zones. It made it kind of hard for us to justify doing the units at the school flashers. Then when we put them in and then COVID hit, it was great for one guy to be able to go on and change a start of school or end of school. We did three intersections so we could try that process too. It worked great. So then we started looking at other products. We started uh, our RFBs. We did a RFB in town. We went to communications to that. With this system, we were able to bring everything back into what we have Centrex, it's our TMC. It was something that helped out tremendously for those obsolete little intersections that are way out there. There was no more repeaters. There was no having to communicate one intersection down a corridor to communicate to another one. I think connected vehicle is the future. Everybody that travels anywhere around town is gonna want more information, even if you're in your vehicle. I mean, everybody's on their cell phone anyways. They have a phone with them. So why not use that technology that's out there already and squeeze it a little bit more and get more information out of it. So as a traffic signal technician, uh, my ultimate job is to keep the intersections working at an optimal level and move traffic through town without any problems to serve the citizens and the employees of the town that are working here. The AI system has worked phenomenally, making our job much easier as signal technicians. Completely satisfied with the system. We love the way it's working. Installation was done here on site. And we've had a good working relationship with Paradigm. They're very professional, very responsive, and have done a, a wonderful job with the support of the products that they back. And so working with the guys, it, it was a, a painless process for us.